think people torn to it's unbelievable that it's a mass but we need to do more than sharing of this yeah and reconstructing Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it is. It's incredible, and that's the strangest thing about walking around Lesbos. Was just like this is a tourist destination. Uh, we were invited by the International Rescue Committee. Uh, they asked us if we would like to come and see the work that's happening in Greece with the refugees. And, um, you know, as we all believe, it's our issue and something we shouldn't run from, block our ears to. Um, it was, you know, an amazing opportunity to have a, a life changing trip and um, see firsthand, you know, just. How much, you know, the, the the enormity of the loss of humanity that's at stake. You know, if we don't do something. The only thing is that it's better. You know, I always tell journalists, don't waste a question. You know, like, but you already know that. Make sure you yeah. get a question. We don't have a take on it. They have a take on it, and that's the problem. Um, there is um, a desire not to have these people here. They won't come out and say it. They won't be honest about it, and the fact that they don't want them. So they do the old foot dragging, bureaucratic foot dragging, <coughs> um, because they want to sweep it under the carpet and they want to make Europe undesirable to visit. Um, that's the intention. They, they, they hide it quite cleverly, these men in suits uh, in the capitals uh, of the West, uh, and they make it as difficult as possible for these people to regain their, their dignity in the hope that these people will contact other people and say, don't do it, don't come. Uh, and that's part of the problem. The International Rescue Committee are doing fantastic work in, as Lena said, giving these people some of their dignity back. Uh, and what, well, we discussed this already, but, but what struck us was the the humanity, the, 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 the beauty of me meeting these people who, and this sounds like so obvious that they, they are not like us, they are us. Uh, there's people in the camp who, um, and listen, we're incredibly lucky people, we're, we're, we're able to feed our children, we, we can occasionally have a, a holiday, we have a car, we have this. There are people that, uh, who in these camps who are oncologists, judges, um, uh, successful people who have had everything taken away from them, not because of a tsunami, not because of an earthquake, not because of a famine, because people in offices in capitals around the world have decided to visit them with cruelty. Well, no, well that's, course, you're always going to get it. That's what we're saying, you're always yeah. going to Okay, some of them are... There were 6% Nazi party, but okay. Well, that's what we need to... You know, they're smart people with education, with skills. And we're not allowing them to. We've just stopped them living. Mm. We just stopped them. And that can't continue. It's morally wrong, and it's unacceptable to most <clears throat> to most right-thinking people. They want to. They want to put back in. They want to continue how they lived before. And there may be a version nine. I have to check. Well, any news? Uh, well, uh, that anything from there? I don't miss me. Sorry. We'll do all that after. I'll, I'll be happy. Right. To Does that mean I'm dead? I'm dead. And these people have nothing. Absolutely nothing, and they're still giving back. They don't want to come and, and, and take from these other countries. They're grateful, they're, they're, they're just people like you and me. And, and they don't want to live in a, in a different country their whole life. They want to go home, but they can't because we've destroyed it. I'll be, I'll be back. I'm ashamed that I haven't been here before, but I'm definitely going back. Right. Most definitely. Well, you're going to be leaving right now, huh? Yeah. We met uh, the mayor of, of, of Lesbos, um, and it, um, taking into consideration the effect on the economy that the refugee ha has, this man is, is talks about hospitality, talks about our guests. Uh, uh, Greece has a history of, of being refugees as well. They recognise the problem. 
uh, and the the acceptance and and the, the dignified humanity that the that that, that, that the, the Greek people had on the ground is, is is remarkably wonderful. But what we need to do is is get to the people in the in, in the offices, in the head offices, people who who don't see it, people in Brussels, people in Washington, London, and Paris, all these places. I'd love to grab them by the back of the neck and bring them into the camps and just say, look, look what you've done, and that's what they've done, and it's. Uh, I'm just incredibly angry about the whole thing, and I was I was angry before. But when you meet these beautiful people, um, who are us, who are our children, our, our brothers, our sisters, and to see what's been done to them is, is shameful, absolutely, unquestionably shameful. The only thing is that it's better. You know, I always tell journalists, don't waste a question. You know, like, but you already know that. It was, I thought I had a pretty good handle on the situation and I wanted to come and, and sort of confirm that almost so as I can speak honestly, saying no, because I met a 21-year-old girl who was headed for university to do amazing things in biology and now she's had that all taken away from her and you are worried she wants to come and take from your country. It's, she's just a girl and why, should, why does she have any less right to live her life than I do? So I just want to see yeah, this. Yeah, it's... Tommy's in, ladies. 